welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> On this video, I want to talk about 72 volt e-bikes. And the reason why I want to talk about 72 volt e-bikes is because I've never ridden one and I'm curious to do just that. I'd like to try one. And uh, I don't have a specific bike in mind. There's a few out there, but you know, there's not a lot of 72 volt e-bike. I mean, the first one that comes to mind would be, for me, would be the Onyx RCR or the Lyric Voodoo or Ghost. And of course, a lot of people mod their bikes and, and turn them into 72 volt, but to actually purchase the bike as a 72 volt bike. I don't see a lot of them out there and they are a little bit on the pricey side for sure, but that's understandable. But uh, I'd like to try one to see how much different that it is, for example, than the one I'm riding, the 52 volt Lyric Graffiti just to feel the, uh, the difference in power. I, I kind of like that little extra power. Uh, not that you're going to use a ton of speed or need a ton of speed, but it's nice to have it there. For me, anyway, I think it's nice to have it there if you do need that little kick or that little extra power to uh, get you up a hill uh, with no problem, stuff like that. I... Uh, Those are some of the reasons why I would like a uh, 72 volt or to at least try one. I mean, I've seen other people riding them and, and heard talk about them and you know what they're like and that, that way. But I think until you actually get on one yourself, jump on one and try it, it's, it's hard to uh, to really feel it for yourself, you know, through somebody else until you actually do it. So I don't know, I'd just be curious to, uh, to try one and uh, maybe uh, if you're watching, somebody out there that's watching this video, if you've ridden a 72 volt e-bike before, uh, what is it like? What's the difference? Is it a real noticeable difference? I'm sure it is, but between say a 52 volt and jumping up to the 72. I think an ideal e-bike for me would be one that, first of all, I like this moped style the best. Not that I'm opposed to the other, styles but I, I prefer this one if I had a choice and I think I'd like a I think I'd like the 72 volt eventually and probably a bike even though I'm not gonna ride it that fast I think I'd like one that you know, can comfortably go 45 miles an hour. And the reason why I say that is because I like a bike that is not, uh, you know, to the point where you have to pin the, uh, the throttle to get it to go that fast. You know, I, you want to have a little room there. You don't want to always have to pin the thing, maxing it out at what it can do. It's nice to have that little extra there. Especially if you're like hill climbing or something like that on a massive hill. But I think, yeah, I think I'd, I'd like to try one. I don't know. 
I think it's going to be one of those situations though where if I got one and tried it, I'd say, oh man, I need to get one of these, you know. Forget all the other bikes, let's, get, let's go right to 72 volt. I think that's what happens because every time, you know, you get a little more power, you like it and you kind of get used to it and you don't want to go back, you want to go forward. But I think, I think the ultimate would be like a nice comfortable ride, a bike that's nice and comfortable to ride, you know, good positioning, seat position, the seat itself, you know, good uh, suspension. Because um, a, a pleasant ride, comfortable ride is more fun, right? So you feel like, you know, you never want to get off the bike, which always happens to me when I get out here anyway, but it would be especially that way if I had something that had it all. But yeah, I have not uh, tried a 72 volt yet, but one of these days I will. And I'll make sure I'm hanging on and I'll probably love it. But like I say, if you've ridden a 72 volt before, maybe you can leave a comment in the comments below and let us know, us folks that have never ridden one, what was it like? Is it like night and day compared to riding a 52 volt? It's a beautiful evening out here. Just gonna check and see what. Yeah, absolutely perfect. It's uh, five o'clock in the afternoon. I'm recording this on, th on Thursday afternoon here. And it is 74 degrees, absolutely perfect. A little bit of a breeze going, and of course the bike creates even more breeze. Let's get it up a little bit faster here, just for fun. Show off a little bit of what the Lyric Graffiti can do. say this but I'm gonna say it again very smooth bike I mean once it gets going here you take off and it's just smooth sailing absolutely love it And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.